Hello and welcome to A Dash of Jack. I'm Jack. Let's get started. I guess the oven? Set that to 425 and smile like you know something you shouldn't. Tomatoes. What fun. Surprise. A bowl. You'll never guess what goes in the bowl. Tomatoes. Drizzle it all in olive oil and then completely forget how to return the cap to the olive oil bottle. You will then introduce the tomatoes to pepper and salt, and then mix it around. Panic slightly, because you don't know where to put the tomatoes. Line a baking sheet with foil, and slap it down like a substitute teacher who really means it this time, guys. Head bobbing improves flavor as you swish the tomatoes around. Put them on the baking sheet and give them some space like an angsty teen. Realize your kitchen is tiny. Put them in for about 15 minutes or until the tops are charred. Crisco, the lubricant of choice at your local pig wrestling. This time will be used as a dressing. Red wine vinegar. It's delicious. About a half cup. Add some salt. Add some pepper. A shallot vinaigrette would not be complete without a shallot. So, you know, here's a shallot. Add it all to the mixture after you dice it fine. And then you're gonna take a lemon that has its whole life ahead. Squeeze it in, whisk it all together, get angry with it, and then get impatient and bust out the immersion blender. Sponsor me. Blend until smooth. Look at it like dad looked at me when I brought home my first girlfriend. This vinaigrette calls for the yolk of one egg, and once you separate it from the white, you can go ahead and add it. Once you separate it from the white, you can go ahead and... Third time's the chuck. Boom. Yolk. Yeah. Add the egg yolk to the mixture, and then blend until frothy. Return this to a measuring cup. It'll yield about two cups. Remove your tomatoes from the oven. Check them out. Put them in a bowl, let them cool for about 10-15 minutes. Then you're going to take an aggressive amount of spinach and an irresponsible amount of arugula and add them to a bowl along with some honey roasted sliced almonds and some dried cranberries. Now that the veil of childhood has been lifted, I wish I'd listen to grandpa's stories more. Once the tomatoes are cool, reintroduce them to the whole affair. Add about a quarter cup of dressing. Don't use as much as I did because I'm a freaking idiot. Add a little more. That's what it needs. Go ahead and mix it all together and then you're ready to serve. Plate it up. Take a bite and convince yourself that the last hour and a half hasn't been a complete waste of time. What do you think, past Jack? The vinaigrette can be kept in your refrigerator for three to five days. If separation occurs, shake it up. Like when you quit your job without a backup job. Do the pasta dance to forget about all that. Fill a pot with something like six to eight quarts of water is what the package said. Yeah, this takes a while. High heat, get it boiling, add some salt. A lot of salt. Preheat the oven to 200 degrees, grab an oven safe bowl, a big one, and throw it in there. Then you're gonna take four, just getting eight ounces of pancetta and add them to a cold pot. You're gonna do the pancetta dance cause it's dope. And then you're gonna throw all that over medium heat for about 10, 15 minutes until browned. Go ahead and entertain yourself any way you can. Oh, thanks for checking out my channel. Like and subscribe. Once the pancetta has been rendered down and all the fat's still in there, you're gonna pull that out, let it cool, leave the fat in the pan, cause that's gonna be good. As a general rule of thumb, if I don't drink it, I don't cook with it. So here's some dry white wine and some heavy cream, along with some red pepper flakes that we're all adding to the mix. You're gonna let that cook on low heat. Pasta, learn about it. I'm using linguine, why not? Here we go, nine minutes. Timer starts now. Kerrygold butter, you're gonna use about a tablespoon. You're gonna divide that in half. Put about half a tablespoon in the freezer. We want it to be nice and hard, and then you're going to take the remaining half, throw it in the microwave for about 15 seconds. Parmesan. If you don't have a brick in your fridge, my grandma cries for you. Grate it up. You're going to need about half a cup added to that melted butter. About a quarter cup of heavy cream, give or take. Let it all mingle together. Cut the rind, the waxy part, off your Parmesan. I decided to get lazy and food process the rest of it. I'll need it for garnish. You can save that rind for a sauce if you want. I'm really hoping that I'm a little better with the eggs this time because this is the big dance. You need three yolks, all told. Boom. Boom. Done. That's right. We're gonna go ahead and add these yolks to our slurry. Mix it all together. Mmm, so good. And then we're gonna hold that off to the side for a second because right now, boom, pancetta. Add that to the deglazed pan with the white wine and the cream. You're gonna continue to cook that on low until it thickens and makes something of a sticky, gooey, bacony, creamy, oh, I want that in my mouth. Pasta's done, go ahead and drain that with a colander and then place the colander over the pot to retain about a cup of pasta water. 
Yeah, long hair don't care. Dig through your drawer for a spatula, drop the spatula, pretend like it didn't happen, go for the freezer butter, and then step over the spatula. If you have enough room in your kitchen, open the oven enough to get the bowl out. Take your time. We're not waiting. Once the hot bowl is ready, go ahead and throw the hard butter in there and then fork it around a little so as to create a layer of buttery goodness between what will be the pasta and your bowl. Invite your good friend pasta to the party. Add some of the pasta water to the pasta, which might seem a little barbaric. Toss to combine, and then you're gonna add this egg slurry to the pasta. Make sure to do it quick so that the residual heat from the pasta can cook the egg. Once it's been well combined, take the pancetta creamy whiny goodness and go ahead and add that to the party. Toss it all until everything is well coated and combined. Grab a pair of tongs. Give them a couple of test clicks to make sure they're working. Grab a bowl and you're ready to plate up. Spin it around like my head wouldn't stop spinning when I found out I was elected prom king. Just kidding, that didn't happen. You're gonna add some garnish parm to that. Some fresh cracked pepper if you so choose. I do. And, well, my favorite part. The salad was good, but I'm sure as you're about to see from my face, this uh, is better. So there you have it, a uh, spinach and arugula salad with some shallot vinaigrette and spaghetti carbonara. I hope you enjoyed. Have a nice glass of wine because it was a long week and there you go. Close the cabinet because there and there you go. Spaghetti vision. Spaghetti vision. Thanks for stopping by. Hope to see you again soon. Don't forget to like and subscribe.